Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Romanian Tractor. Today is a very special day. We're about to ride an uncorked TTR 230. So that's right, I actually modified my TTR 230 uh, to try to get as much uh, lifespan and usability out of the bike as possible. Reason being, I was starting to kind of notice the limitations of the bike, you know, after three months and 45 hours on the hour meter, uh, noticing the soft suspension and noticing the lack of ground clearance, uh, noticing perhaps a little bit of a lack of power in the motor. So I thought, you know what, I, I want to get a WR250, uh, but that's twice the cost. So let's throw some cheap little modifications at this bike, uh, get its full potential out there, and then see if maybe we can increase the usefulness that I get out of the bike, maybe for another season or so. So anyways, um, the first thing we try to address is the um, gearing. So the stock gearing is very, very short. You can barely use first gear and second gear, eh, not that much more. So uh, we wanted to lengthen the gearing. But first we started with the rear sprocket. We actually kept the same uh, same amount of teeth. So it's still a 49 tooth in the rear, but now this is a lightweight aluminum sprocket as opposed to the heavy steel one. It's about half the weight, I would say. Now where we did the lengthening of the gears is in the front. So front stock, you got a uh, 13 tooth sprocket. Now we have a 15 in here. So that's gonna be the substantial difference in terms of uh, the gears. All right, now, one of the things that happens when you lengthen the gears is typically it's at the trade-off of some acceleration. So we want to make sure that not only does it not feel any slower than stock, maybe we could even improve uh, the power of the motor. So looking at the intake side of things, we took off the uh, screen that used to be right here. It used to restrict the airflow a little bit. And then in the airbox, there used to be a snorkel up top. We took that out as well, and now it's pretty de-restricted. Some people also drill extra holes at the top of the airbox, but I don't think that's necessary. At the end of the day, the air is still going to have to flow through this tube, which is quite narrow. And at this point, this is probably the biggest bottleneck uh, on the intake side of things. Now for the exhaust, I took off the uh, screws here. So this is my spark arrestor. Uh, there used to be an insert inside and the insert's been removed. And the spark arrestor itself now has two holes at the end of it to decrease back pressure as much as possible. Uh, you can drill some more if you'd like. I just didn't have access to a proper drill press, so uh, running it with uh, two holes for now, but I'll probably just add a few more uh, when I have the proper tool available. Okay, so more air coming in, uh, more air going out. That means you need to adjust the fueling. So what we did for that, took out the carburetor, um, replaced the jets. We went from a 125 to a 130 main and from a 36 to a 38 for the pilot. And there's a little fuel adjustment screw in there that Yamaha doesn't really want you to mess around with too much. Um, so it's, I think, made out of copper. Just drill it out very, very lightly and then you get access to the uh, adjustment screw. You turn it in all the way and then back it out one full turn. And then that's your adjustment for the fueling. So you're gonna have the proper uh, air fuel mixture uh, with the increased uh, airflow coming into the motor, out of the motor. And uh, essentially that's it guys. So that's how you uncork a TTR 230. Um, so I'm gonna get geared up and we're gonna go for a ride and we'll see what kind of difference it makes. Already sounds louder at idle. Yeah, that's about twice as loud as stock. Stock, it's really puny, and uh, the bike is definitely louder right off the bat. So let's see how it runs. Oh, oh yeah, you notice the power right away. <laughs> so this is fun. It's like a new bike. Twist the throttle and you have more punch than you 
get used to. It's like it's, like it's more responsive. So a better throttle response right off the bat is what I'm noticing. See right there, I was a bit too high for the third. Dropped it the second. Asset came loose. Right away, so... <laughs> Yeah, I have less control over my bike right now because my bike is faster. <laughs> That's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Um, so yeah, better throttle response. Definitely better acceleration. So I'm approaching everything. And I've done this trail dozens of times. And everything is coming faster than I'm used to it. carburetor mods go, those are definitely noticeable. Now the gears are noticeable as well because I'm actually using second and third, uh, whereas, wow, trees everywhere. Using second and third, whereas before I was using mostly third, sometimes fourth. So now, I'm definitely fighting. Second gear is not just usable, but it's got power. Like, that's amazing. And then first gear too, like, if I come to a stop here, that's first. That's quite a bit more than it used to go at first. Second, you can actually run, but at a decent speed. Whoa, it's so wet. Actually, I am blown away. Oh. <laughs> it's so wet out here. Yeah, I'm blown away by these mods. Uh, it made a bigger difference than I thought. Overall, uh, there's no way I'm crossing that. It's been raining so much, I will get stuck. Um, yeah, I never would have thought these mods would make such a big difference, but they do. So, highly recommended, guys. If you have a TTR 230 and you're quite used to it and you think you want more bike, you can spend twice the money and get a 250, or you can modify your 230 for about 100 bucks, and you can do what I'm doing. <laughs> this is so worth it. This is the best hundred bucks I spent this summer. Hands down. Oh yeah. I am going way faster through here than I used to. I actually had to brake or let off the gas. So awesome. So guys, there you have it. If you want, if you have a 230 and you want to get more power and usability out of it, this is what you do. You upgrade your jets from a 125 to a 30 for the main and from a 36 to a 38 for your pilot. Uh, you get 15 teeth on your front sprocket and decrease, sorry, uh, replace the rear sprocket with an aluminum one and holy cow it wakes the bike up this is no longer with TTR 230 I'm telling you this is by all means no longer a girly bike or your wife's bike this is downright a thrilling motorcycle to ride I'm having a blast I'm a bit out of breath this is just a fire room. Drop me a line, any comments, check the description for the list of part numbers, and uh, I'll see you guys next time on Remaining Tractor.